Michigan State University will pay half a billion dollars to settle claims from survivors of the biggest sex assault case in sports history. 332 women sued Michigan State for allegedly ignoring complaints about disgraced former doctor Larry Nasser. He abused female gymnasts and other athletes for decades and will be in prison the rest of his life. Dr. John LaPook has been following the story. John, good morning. Good morning. The details of the settlement are still being finalized, but Wednesday, Michigan State's trustees approved its basic terms. Some survivors say they feel vindicated by this settlement, but they also insist their fight for justice is far from over. It feels like a huge victory. Jeanette Antolin was sexually assaulted repeatedly by Larry Nasser when she was a member of Team USA from 1995 to 2000. She was one of the first elite gymnasts to publicly accuse him of abuse when we interviewed her for 60 Minutes last year. There's stuff that you just can't take back. Um, the trauma that's been done has been done, and a lot, most of us will live with it for the rest of our lives, and no amount of money can change that. The settlement will cost Michigan State University $500 million. $425 million will be split among 332 survivors who sued the university. The other $75 million is set aside for victims who may come forward in the future. We're going to be working extra hard to make certain nothing like this ever happens again. MSU kept Nasser on its payroll despite complaints he abused victims under the guise of providing medical treatment. Recently on Earth video shows Nasser deflecting blame onto his victims during questioning by campus police. If you touch someone wrong, they should tighten up. The MSU settlement raises the stakes for USA Gymnastics, which used Nasser as its team doctor. It also faces lawsuits, along with the U.S. Olympic Committee and coaches Bella and Marta Caroli. Attorney John Manley represents 175 survivors. They should be very afraid of those women getting up and telling their story to a jury uh, because their story is horrific and they have been treated like human garbage. Manley says a retired judge will decide how much each survivor will get. But for Jeanette Antolin and others, their fight at its core has never been about getting money. It's been about getting to the truth and holding responsible individuals and institutions accountable. John, thanks. Well, beyond that in this case. Well, and I think that's an important point that John makes that the victims have, have said that this is really too about, about Michigan accepting responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's such a large payment, but in some way it's accepting responsibility for for ignoring this abuse for decades. It's a right. message to other schools yeah. to address these issues right away, too. That's exactly right. You're on the hook for this, yeah. so be on, on the lookout for it.